Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody doing? Hello. Doing well. Can you hear me? Can you world? You can. Wait, can you? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Hey, Alex. Hey, how's it going? Fantastic. Happy Wednesday. How are you? I'm good. Never guess what I nearly forgot to do. What? Got my GTFOWI t shirt on. I was thinking, oh, I look all smart. Been to a business meeting today, looking cool, gonna look sharp for the uh, GTFOWI show. And I was like, hold on. <laughs> this is not what we wear on the GTFOWI show. What am I thinking? How crazy is that? So I just you... went upstairs to uh, get changed real fast. So this is odd how this works then, because I, well, I didn't go to a conference today, but I too did not have my GTFOWI shirt on until about five minutes ago, because I also forgot. <laughs> didn't have a conversation in my head, but I'm glad we're on the same page. Yes. yes. Sent me the vibes. Remind, yes. Remembering vibes. <laughs> awesome. All right, shall we just get started and get into everything? We have a lot to go over. I know that you've got some cool things in your back pocket. I've got some amazing people to call out. So I think mm -hmm. we should just get started. For sure. So first of all, um, welcome. If this is your first time, welcome if it's not your first time. Welcome back to the Sell, uh, Sell What You Know GTFWI show. So um, for those of you who don't know, for those of you who are new, uh, probably a bit of an idea of what this show is all about. So this show is quite different to our other show, the Sell What You Know show, which, by the way, is back, if you haven't noticed. So um, we're in season two. Uh, the amazing Cordelia is back presenting that. So you want to keep an eye on your emails. You want to keep an eye in the Sell What You Know Facebook group. If you're not in the Sell What You Know Facebook group, what is going on? We'll drop a link to that in just a second. Perhaps uh, Michelle can do that. Yes, I so, can. So yeah, um, that's really awesome. Um, I had 95 people on there today, I'm told. I wasn't there um, today, but I'm told it was pretty epic. So definitely, if you want to catch up with that, you can catch up with the replay, um, which is uh, in the Facebook group as well. Now, this show is different, though, because this show is very much a community call. So this is about you guys. Um, this is about celebrating wins. This is about, um, you know, showing results, showing uh, people on the other side of the fence, um, inspiring you guys to keep moving forward, to keep motivated, to build that belief in you. You can do it. And uh, we're going to show you some proof today, as we love to do. Um, and also updates, things we're doing, working on. Because um, what I realized uh, when before we started this show was that I was okay-ish at keeping the team up to speed with what was going on, but not very good at keeping the clients up to date. So that's also what this show is about, is being an open book and uh, keeping updated with everything that's happening on the inside of Sell What You Know, because I really feel... You guys are all a part of that and you support us in that. So you deserve to know. So what is going on? Um, so first of all, um, just a quick one as well. I'm just going to drop a link in the chat. Um, if you haven't done it already, um, we've got another workshop starting tomorrow, offer building workshop. This isn't, if you're already a client, don't do this. You've already got this in the mentorship program. Um, but everyone who's brand new to the Sell What You Know sphere, and you've yet to do the workshop um, and you're not a client already, then you might want to check it out because it's really awesome. We spend a couple of days just helping you to build out your offer. Um, and then you get some feedback from one of my team, helping you tune that even further. And for a very, very short space of time, it's going to be six pounds for a little while longer. And then the prices will change and it's going up very soon, probably next week. So yeah, grab that while it's hot. So today, um, I want to kind of talk about some elephants in the room and um, also talk about some things I'm working on with the future of the business and uh, things we're working on um, on the inside. So the first, the elephant, the big elephant in the room is obviously what's happening in the UK economy, which is just crazy. Can we all agree it is just crazy what's going on right now? Can't even believe it's happening. Um, and I know it's making everyone feel a bit weird. So I just want to talk about that. Um, we were talking about it at this um, business meeting today as well. Um, and it's super interesting because um, 
we had a panel of five banks at this event today, and uh, we're just asking the questions, talking to these five bankers from different sectors of the banking world. Um, had someone from Coots, which is like super high end commercial um, bank owned by the royal family, right down to um, you know, Barclays Bank and kind of low level finances and things like that. And they're talking about how all this is affecting them and their ability to lend, because that's obviously a big concern at the moment. And it isn't actually affecting lending as much as you might think. Yes, the banks are freaking out and withdrawing all the mortgage um, products at the moment. So yes, mortgages are going to go a bit wonky and um, probably the housing market along with it, therefore. Um, but overall, like... The, the sense with the banks, at least, was that the lending will continue. There will just be slightly different considerations um, when it comes to like business finance and lending and things like that. Um, and always understand that, yes, it's, it's pretty rocky now, but it will write itself, you know, soon enough. We're probably heading into a, a bumpy patch of 18 months, two years. Um, and then, as always, it will um, settle down. But the good news is you are the people who are already in the right place doing the right thing. So for sure, there's going to be a lot of pain, a lot of suffering out there. But you guys um, are already awake. You already know about what's actually possible in this world. Most of you are already taking action on that and moving forward to create a new income for yourself. Um, and this should only serve as a motivator for you. Even more reason to GTFOWI and get your coaching businesses on the ground launched and generating income very quickly because that is what's going to make you uh, not have to worry about this sail through this whole um this whole challenge without it really um bumping the sides so just use it as a motivator stay super focused stay stay super concentrated take action consistently if anything work that little bit harder to make it happen that little bit faster so that you can fix this problem as it represents to you by simply adding more income so that it's not such an issue for you to worry about. OK, so also what I want to do is um, talk you through what we are thinking about, how we are um, starting to grow and expand and what's on our radar. <clears throat> and also um, I do this to teach you really to start thinking about this. Um, for future pacing so thinking about how you should be starting to think as you launch and grow and scale your businesses how your mindset should start to work <clears throat> how you should start to be feeling about the next steps um, that you're taking um, once your business starts generating a significant income and how you're going to be operating that business and thinking about it so <clears throat> one second obviously i need a drink So I'm just going to get this sketch pad out here. So this um, really is something you should all be thinking about pretty much from the outset, okay? <clears throat> so you want to be thinking about your business in four different ways, okay? Almost like four different companies, okay? One, everyone see this right? Yes. Cool. So... You've got your business now, your future business, your media business, and your property and investment business. Now, as it represents on here, <clears throat> we're not actually talking about four completely separate limited companies or businesses or anything like that. This is really just four different ways about to think about your current business, okay? So your business now, this is where most businesses tend to just sit and not actually grow out of, okay? So number one is your business now. Number two, your future business, 
is your view on growth, where you're going to be, how you're going to innovate, how you're going to keep moving forward and stay ahead of the game. Now, to illustrate this point, one of my favorite business stories is Blockbuster Video. Okay. Now, Blockbuster Video always stayed over here. They didn't really do anything over here. They never even moved out of box one. And it's quite a well known fact that, um, well, two things about Blockbuster Video and the love story with Netflix and love film as it was. So, first of all, um, Blockbuster were um, aware of Netflix, but they didn't really see them as um, being much competition. And they actually, um, they tried three different ways, even so, to kind of think about doing a subscription service. Um, the first two were terrible. Netflix, Love Film, weren't worried at all. But the third one um, was actually quite good. And it had Netflix worried to the point where they generally thought they were going to go under. There was no way they could compete because Blockbuster back then was a much bigger company. And they got a new CEO and he cancelled this subscription service, this third iteration of the subscription service, um, which Netflix obviously thought was the best thing ever because he didn't see a future in that business model, in that subscription or online model and that was the thing that saved netflix now a little while later um blockbuster were offered to buy netflix for 50 um million dollars and they turned it down again because they just couldn't see um that being viable and the last I checked, Netflix had a market cap of well north of 50 billion. I think it's maybe even 100 billion now. So Blockbuster stayed in this, your business now, and they didn't give any thought or passion or consideration to where they want to be. And the way you want to think of this is get your business up and running, get it stable, start to get a bit of a team in place to take over the day-to-day -day running from you so that you can then start putting as much effort and attention as you possibly can into your future business. So this is my job over here. So Rochelle and Brian and the rest of the team, this is them over here. They're looking after this part, your business now, sell what you know, so that I can concentrate on this part what we're doing in the future because if we don't keep doing this we don't keep innovating then um we'll end up like blockbuster video um and that's great for us and it's obviously great for you guys um mm -hmm. thinking and working and developing on new things um both with new products in so what you know and also our other projects that we're working on and developing um so yeah that is something you certainly want to have in the back of your mind how you're going to be continuing to push the envelope continuing to innovate now number three is being a media business so one thing that is certainly true of all successful businesses these days is they actually feel they treat themselves like a media business that just so happens to do other things so red bull is a great example of that so red bull you would think um is a fizzy drinks company but actually they're not red bull is a media company that just so happens to sell fizzy drinks um and they create content engaging interesting exciting content all of the time and so you should be starting to think um now about what your media business your content that you're going to be putting out um long term telling the story of your journey whatever it might be. So sell what you know. Um, in about six weeks, we've got a new person joining the team, Joanna, who's going to be joining our team as our marketing manager. And the intention <clears throat> with that is to um, really rapidly increase the amount of content and media that we're putting out. And our focus is going to be on short form content. So TikToks, um, YouTube Shorts, um, Facebook, Instagram Reels, and LinkedIn um, Shorts as well and we're going to be really pushing quite hard um, in that respect 
as well as rebooting and restarting Sell What You Know Show is weekly long form content with our um, podcast that comes from that um, and everything else, because it's going to be really important that we um, really start to produce very good, very valuable content consistently. And our goal for 2023 is to really raise the profile of myself and also sell what you know. <clears throat> it was quite interesting because today I got recognized quite a lot at this event. Um, and that's really our push for the whole of next year is to make sell what you know and Alex Smale very recognizable, um, well known, um, because um, you know, we have a great reputation ready. We've got great testimonials and results and all that kind of stuff. And this really is going to, for us, form the basis of taking that to the next level. Because as you should all experience as online coaches, I've always taught you guys, people buy into you first and foremost. They buy into your program um, because at some level um, they like you and they trust you and they want to work with you. That's a big part of why we do this show, you know, another way of you getting to know us a bit better, um, hearing genuine stories from genuine people. So if you're still on the outside of the cell, you know, sphere, the hope, the intention is that you'll see this stuff and think, hey, these guys are really cool. So expect to see me and the cell, you know, brand um, a lot more out there everywhere um, in 2023 because yeah it's really our goal to become a very established media business and we're investing in masterminds and um, external agencies as well as um, increasing the team internally and then um, this all generates you know the, the great thing about online coaching is it does generate significant amounts of um, fast cash flow so that's probably why most of you are here for excites a lot of you um, which is great but then what do you start to do with that because quite quickly you can start to build up um, an excess of cash and not much to do with it and if you're not careful you can get really um, stung with um, tax and things like that so now um, we are starting to think about that and the fourth part of your business plan should be to start moving some of that money as much as 50% really into um, slower moving money like property and investments. Um, especially because property at the moment, there's a big wealth shift mm -hmm. and property is going to start to become quite a difficult to attain asset. And assets are really where your wealth can be stored you know you don't want um fast cash in and out um you want to be starting to put some of that money into assets now one um thing that you're going to have uh, to consider as you do that in the future especially at least if you're in the uk is you've got to do that in a tax efficient way so the way to think about that and this is what we're setting up at the moment is we have sell what you know over here <clears throat> then we have um, a holding company up here. And then we have our property business down here. Now, um, if, say, I was to just take money out of um, here directly, it's very punitive on tax, like as much as like 60% if you're not careful, which is crazy. Um, and doesn't really serve any purpose. So the intention now, which is very legal above board and what uh, most people do, is that um, you can transfer the money from your main coaching business up to your holding company tax-free because it's within the same corporate group. There's a lot of hoops to jump through that. You can't just do that willy-nilly. You do have to set up quite a lot to make that legal and okay um and we'll get to into that now but just know that that is the case um and then where we can um move that money back down into another company in the group which would be our property company and then we can um buy properties and investments with that which we can do things like um get mortgages against 
and then extract that money tax-free because you don't pay tax on debt. So that's something um, eventually you should all be thinking about um, having and setting up because that is how it is done. You need to, you know, really carefully think about how you're going to manage your assets um, in a legal way, in a tax efficient way, so that you can extract the most from um, your hard work as an online coach. So this is, um, this is how we do it. So I just wanted to share this with you, start getting your head thinking big, thinking along those lines, thinking about how you are going to um, start thinking from a corporate point of view as your business grows. Now, perhaps for some of you, if you're just wanting to build those lifestyle businesses, this may not ever be something you really want to um, engage in or think about. But what I can tell you is keep an open mind because once you start hitting 20, 30K a month, that may have been your initial goal, but once you're up at that level, the likelihood is you'll want to keep going, as many people do, um, because it's another level. You, you get acclimatized to that level, and then you know your goal should be pushing forwards at all time anyway. So, yeah, just wanted to walk you through that, and um, I hope you found that interesting. And uh, just remembered one other thing that we didn't touch on, I should have on my list. Um, was SWIC tools. So um, we've made some more improvements to uh, the SWIC tool support setup. Um, so first of all, I'm going to apologize because um, a few of you have not had the service that we aspire to um, with your SWIC tool support. Um, it was becoming obvious that um, we had a gap in the service you guys were getting, actually a couple of gaps. And me being me, we wanted to act decisively and swiftly and effectively. So we have immediately moved away from Pat and Alloc. I know that might be hard for some of you guys because I know they were popular and certainly they did do um, a good job, but there were some things that we couldn't get um, the way we wanted to get them. And so I had to make the decision to um, change that situation because there's nothing I hate more than my clients getting let down, um, getting angry, not getting the service that they expect, not having the client experience that we really aspire to here at Sell What You Know. We have a gold standard. Anything below that, I Darth Vader it. That's just me. Okay. Which we've done. And the good news is we found a much better setup solution, group of people to work with. Um, already getting really good feedback. Um, some of you guys have had um, some engagements with the new team already. Um, few changes. We're not going to do the office hours once a week thing because um, we can basically do that constantly all the time every day now. So rather than you have to wait for the call once a week, um, I know some of you, you know, different time zones, we've got jobs, things like that, find that tricky anyway. So now you've got really awesome live chat, email support, and Zoom support, if you know that's appropriate to jump on a Zoom call. Not quite 24 hours a day just yet, but pretty close, 17 hours a day. Um, and hopefully we will achieve 24 hour coverage um, pretty soon. But you're not gonna be waiting very long at all for getting help and support with SWIP tools. Um, and also we're adding in um, some better training into the portal because I know we've had a few discrepancies with it being slightly out of sync as we've improved things. So Brian on the team has been working very hard uh, yesterday and today to um, absolutely get that on point. Um, so thanks for all the uh, feedback from you guys on that. Um, and yeah, we're, I'm really happy now. I think it's going to be much better, um, really slick. Um, Brian like is literally gushing all the time about how much better everything is now. Um, so if he gets excited, it doesn't happen often. So be assured you can get excited too. So I think I've covered everything. Haven't I, Rochelle? Have I got something else? No, I think you covered it all. But you took the fun part. I wanted to tell him about the Swick Tools chat. Oh, sorry, mate. It's all right. It's fine. I'm not mad at you. So sorry. Um, <laughs> we've got a couple of questions I just noticed. Um, 
in the question thing. We didn't know we did the Q&A thing. This is interesting. So Kami says, how will the state of the economy affect the ability to pay for our services? Um, well, I don't think that much. It depends on what you're offering and who you're offering it to, obviously. Um, as a general rule, um, the online space is largely unaffected by the offline space. Um, but for sure, you will get some, you know, sense of it, some kind of um, people who may have said yes before, who may say no now. But the thing is, when you create a really powerful system, system to get clients on demand, Anyway, it's not ever really going to be too much of an issue because you were able to reach a much wider audience. Um, yes, these challenges are affecting a lot of people, but they're really not affecting everyone. They're actually affecting a small amount of the population to a great degree. So probably it's not going to affect things too much for most of you. When it comes to high ticket coaching, it's an expensive thing for people to pay for and therefore generally it only appeals to the people who are fairly affluent anyway, who generally don't tend to feel the pinch of things like this as they go along. And then Emmanuel, um, 30K to 40K a month sounds tempting, but how sustainable is it to keep this level of income coming? How do you split your time between prospecting and serving your customers? Mm -hmm. So um, 30 to 40K sounds like a lot. I know if you're coming from a place of salary and uh, all that kind of stuff but it's not actually um, that much money in the grand scheme of things. So yes, the thing is like everything, once you've built a, a sustainable system, um, client acquisition system, uh, generally it will just keep delivering and delivering clients unless you break it or perhaps at least don't keep it up to date. So 30 to 40K um, sounds like a lot. It'll probably take you, you know, a few months to achieve that, maybe even a year. But once you build up to that, it's normally built on solid foundations and you can keep, um, generating that and even anything grow from there and then how do you split your time between prospecting and serving your customers um well, yeah i mean everyone's different it's going to be your choice how you split that um serving your customers generally isn't that time consuming once you've built your online program and you've got um your group coaching set up then normally you're only spending like an hour two hours three hours a week um on fulfillment um, and in the beginning, most of your time will go on, on generating client acquisition, um, either marketing or sales. But as you grow quite quickly, you can get some help with that and off, um, offload that. So, yeah, let me know, gang, if you've got any others um, that you want to ask. So this chat is disabled. What's going on there? I thought it was a bit quiet in the chat. No, it's I cool. opened it. It's fixed. Oh, well done. We've been chatting away. Oh, nice. Lovely, jubbly. All right. So, yeah. God, I've been talking for ages. Here's me saying I didn't have much to say. Apparently, I do have a lot to say. So, yeah. Let's get into it. Rochelle, what else we got going on? Let's do this. Okay. So, we have to individually invite them out. I'm going to uh, bring Moana out. Can she turn her own video on? Yeah, you got to let her Got to request it. Uh, request. Ooh, I don't see that. At the moment, it says unable to start video because the host needs to give me permission. All right. You may have to do that, Alex, please. And I'll All right. Start video. All right. So, um, panelists, don't switch your video on until it's your turn. Yeah. Yes. But until then, first, first, I've got to say, so this is success stories time. Um, I know that he's not on the call, I don't think. He's not on the panelist side, but I don't know if you guys saw Keith's post earlier in the Mentorship Community Facebook page, but oh my gosh, if you need your ad or your webinar, Keith says come to him, he got a haircut. I don't know if you guys saw his post, but then his uh, hair barber now wants to know all about what Keith is doing and what his online program is. And now it's a potential customer, right? So that's awesome. If you need an ad or a webinar, call Keith. He said he'll do it because his hair's looking nice. Um, but <laughs> that was just a shout out to him. Now I want to turn the attention to uh, Morwana. Come out, please. I'm so excited that you're here. This is your wow. second client based on your mission post which yeah. you post the meaning beginning of September, I'll yeah. let you give all your results. But first, can you share with us uh, what is your offer? And then I'll ask you the second question so we don't get ahead of ourselves. Okay, thanks, Rochelle. Um, my offer is helping mums who are worried about the amount of screen time that their kids are having 
reduce that screen time and replace it with time in nature, creative activities and just more fun. So it's kind of helping mums rebalance family life away from screen time towards more other stuff. Love that. So clarify for me and the rest of the Swickies, have you launched officially yet or is this just off of your mission post? It's just off of my mission post. I've got my webinar script to completion, but I haven't filmed my webinar yet. So I haven't officially launched down the kind of the main route. Incredible. Awesome. All right. So here's your question. What's the biggest win that's made a difference to you in getting your first this discovery call from from your mission post and then share your uh, results with us, if you don't mind? OK, um, so I think I ran a free um, a free kind of version of my course, a sort of shortened version of my course in the spring and had seven mums went through it. And I think for me, I got some really lovely testimonials out of that and felt um, more confident because of doing that, that I really could help people. So the biggest win was getting some good testimonials that then kind of built my confidence up to feel that um, I was legitimate in offering to help other people and get paid for it. So that was the biggest win um, or the most, the most influential win. Um, and then my results, I think, so my, my, mission, uh, my mission post went out on the 7th of September, and I think I've had about 10, 11, 12 mums message me who are interested, and then I've had five strategy calls booked, um, three of them have happened, and two have turned into sales who have paid. So I've done, yeah, three strategy calls, two sales, and I've got another strategy call at nine this evening after this, once I get the kids home and asleep, and then another strategy call on Friday. So I'm aiming for five, but if I get four, that's fine as well. Awesome. Amazing. Is yeah. that not awesome, Alex? Did you, Alex, I don't know if you're aware of this or not. I just had a conversation with somebody on Monday. Um, he was asking me if he was ready to send out his uh, mission post or work on it, but he's fearful because the chat in our community is they really are getting clients quickly. Yeah. <laughs> and some people are like, I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. So that's a <laughs> That's pretty, that's pretty big. I think that says a lot for the power of, of this post and what we're teaching them to do. It's cool. Yeah. yeah you really can get clients very quickly. Once you've got your offer, you've got everything you need. Mm. We've just got some tools to help you to get out there, get in front of some people, get yep. some money in quick. We're just validating the offer. You know, we're just validating people are happy to pay for it. Cause once you've done that, then we can really confidently push very hard into pay traffic and yeah. scale to the mean so you think what you've done just one facebook post how yeah. much money you've generated already how much you're about to yeah now think if you turn the taps on with youtube ads and a funnel mm. and a money making machine mm. yeah and it means you're kind of you're developing content and getting paid to develop the content so that and also kind of understanding swick tools and how to use that so it's sort of getting paid to do the program almost yeah. yeah exactly exactly yeah. good idea yeah and i'm working on some more stuff alongside the mission post at the moment as well to kind of give that because it's it's um it's gone really well so giving you guys even more things you can do more tools to expand on that because it, it just yeah gets some money in early yeah nice one well done. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with us uh, this evening, Moana. I know that you need to run and get the little ones off. So I appreciate you. Keep us posted actually, how you next. Actually, yes. yes. Just because we're talking about people being scared of getting clients. Now Moana's got her clients. Should they be scared? Not at all. Not at all. It's... Um... It's so exciting, actually. It's not fright. It, it's good. Okay, yeah, it is a bit frightening, but in a really motivating way. So it's like I'm like, oh my god, I've really I'm designing content and thinking about what I'm going to share with them. And I think early on in the program, someone said to me, "You need to feel a bit scared about whether you can actually deliver because then you're going to push yourself and do a really good job. You can't be complacent about this." And um, so I don't feel complacent. I feel kind of good, nervous. So it's yeah, don't be scared, but be ready to feel quite ooh. That kind you, of thing. you finding it rewarding are you getting that buzz yet of seeing them get results and i haven't i'm just onboarding the first one on friday and then the next second one who's paid next the beginning of next week so um so i haven't actually started coaching these paid clients yet but it was very rewarding doing the free course um in june july yeah i got like mums yeah really stuff changed in their lives because of it and you've got a taste now, haven't you like that that's the hard thing to convey isn't it the goal like seeing people succeed and yeah get that difference just amazing isn't it so, exactly it's kind of yeah I didn't be, I didn't know that I could do this for people and um and it's a very very wonderful feeling to be able to do it oh, amazing okay. perfect good on you though congratulations thank you
<laughs> thank you. Thank you, Rochelle. Thank you, Alex and everyone. Pleasure. A pleasure. Keep us posted. Oh, well. I know that you will, but keep us posted. Thank you. Bye. I'll see ya. Bye. All right. Let's see. I'm going to bring uh, Sabina out next. Let me see if I can get her to unmute. Yeah. I'm can you hear me? Can you see me? Yeah. Hello. Hi. Assalamu alaikum. Oh. Wa alaikum salam. I'm so happy <laughs> to be on here. <laughs> I, I watched last month's one. Yes. I just thought, oh my God, that's so amazing. I can't wait till I can get on there. Like thinking it would never happen. And I'm here. <laughs> if yeah, memory serves, yes, and now you're here. And if memory serves me right, you and I had this conversation because I knew how much you were going to smash it. So to see your post come through a couple of weeks ago, a couple of days ago, when you received your first client, um, not only was I really not shocked, to be honest with you, I knew that you were going to do that. But where I was taken by surprise is I'm, if I'm not mistaken, Alex, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but you're uh, one of our first, or you're our first client that like you got your first client the soonest. Is I she? think so. Yes. yes. It was day 20 or 21 that you've started the program oh, wow. that you've yeah. ended up receiving your client. Is that right? Yeah. And you know what? It was like a day or two after I had a meltdown. Um, <laughs> yeah. <'cause, yeah. laughs> I watch your videos all the time, uh, Sabine. You're, you're one of my favorites. Don't tell anyone. But like, I'm always like <laughs> watching her. Um, and like, yeah, go watch you like have your meltdown yeah, um, after you ask them for money. And then, yeah. <laughs> Oh, so. I'm really um, I'm really expressive like when I used to teach my colleagues used to sit um, they used to love sitting opposite me in staff meetings because they could see everything that I was thinking as soon as the head of department would tell us whatever rubbish we had to do next yeah. Um, so yeah that'd be why but I had to I had to get on a call with Jay um, <clears throat> to kind of sort it out because you know when you look at all the training in in SWIC it is scary yeah it, you know it does feel really really scary and you do think oh my god can I actually do this and if you've got other things going on you know kids and health and whatever you you keep questioning yourself and I just remember what Alex kept saying that what was it the um imperfect action is better than perfect inaction so I kept sitting on that mission post for about three days kept writing it rewriting it and then I said, oh, for God's sake, just do what Alex says. And I just posted it. <laughs> Come on, Sabina. Come on. On my profile picture for, um, <laughs> exactly, for, uh, uh, what's it called, WhatsApp and everything. I'm not even that great on Facebook and all the other things. Um, and, yeah, so I had, uh, initially I had about 10 people message me back, 10 or 12 people message me back. And I lost them all. I remember going on a call with Alex saying I lost them all within that within that text message. How serious are you? Oh yeah, I'm very serious. Okay, so I need some more information. And then they've just disappeared. Um, you know, they're, my, my thing is for busy mums. Um, so I guess they're busy mums. Um, but then, you know, one came along and she was like, no, I'm deadly serious. Yeah, when can I get on a call with you? Um, I think actually I had in total, I sent the mission post out like three different versions of it. Mm -hmm. But that first client, I got from the first mission post um, and she was just really serious. I asked her to come with her husband, you know, onto the Zoom call with her husband um, and they were just really serious and everything I said was just, you know, yeah. I remember listening to Sam's sales um, Monday calls and I just kept, I listened to about three of them the day before I had the call with her and he said something about being a Jedi listener. <laughs> Like, forget about the script, forget about your notes, just really listen to what the client's saying. Um, and yeah, it worked. I, I, I was really surprised. It was like really hard to kind of suppress that kind of like, yeah, I do this all the time. Yeah, I take 950 pounds off lots of people, you know, just give it. Mm. Uh, it was a bit hard to keep that suppressed. But yeah, that was done. And then the next time I was on a call with Alex and and you said that actually what you're, the problem is that people are objecting to being sold to. So just offer some free half an hour. It was you and Jay, you were both saying the same thing. Just offer some free half an hour sessions. And so one of my friends who was coming, kind of umming and eyeing, 
um, she actually took the half an hour session and she said, look, um, I'm not able to afford this, 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 but I have got this. Have you got a short course available? So after a bit of discussion and a bit of umming and eyeing, she took a short course. Um, yeah, so so I do have two clients or one and a half. I don't know how you classify that. It's good. Yeah, it clients a client. Like, client. It doesn't matter how much money you get in the beginning, right? If you're getting people to hand over money, like, isn't it the best feeling when someone pays you money for the first time for just something you've done? Yeah. And it just it doesn't matter what they pay you. They've paid you money, Sabina. Yeah. for your knowledge and experience and that's it and you just conjured that you money know, you know what it is yeah. you I know you kept telling me that um you will feel like an imposter for ages and I do I periodically <laughs> I have this thing that I go into my little hole and what am I doing what am I doing what can I what have I got you know for god's sake I'm still shouting at my children <laughs> <laughs> I still have bits with my children and then I look at them and think oh my god this is not how it's supposed to be and then oh. you know I change things around but then I keep thinking that you know I used to say uh, when I was teaching that actually we're only I did a chemistry degree I'm I was only taught to teach chemistry but as long as you're one step ahead of your students you can teach anything so I think um <clears throat> I keep coming back to that fact okay I'm one step ahead of them but it's amazing that when you go through your, um, you know, the thing that you, that four day course at the beginning, it's amazing how much detail you can get out of, of yourself. Like, mm -hmm. it's amazing how much you do actually know that you don't really know, you know, until somebody gets you to think about it. And my yeah. client, my first client, I've had three, three sessions with her. The second client I've had two sessions with. The first client, she's in tears every single time she comes to a session because she just realizes stuff that she hasn't realized before. Oh, amazing. Yeah. And I just, um, oh, it, is, it is a brilliant feeling. And I've always wanted to do it. I've always known I can do it. I can help people. I used to do it from the council, but then nobody had a choice. The council told me to go and help and, you know, they had to take my help. And I helped family and friends. And I kept thinking in my head that, you know, surely... I could help people, but how do I make it sustainable for me? How do I make money off it? And how do I live from it? Because I can't do business. And when I saw your ad, it was the day that I was saying, if only I could learn how to do business and I was YouTubing something. And then Alex came up and he said, I can teach you. Uh, <laughs> and that was it. I didn't even need that strategy call with Greg. I got on with Greg and I was like, I don't really need to hear anything. Can I just pay? Take my money. <laughs> That's it. That's all I needed. And that's another thing I, I struggle to convey to people is, is what you're going through is you always, it's surprising how much you know and how little they know, isn't it? Yeah. And, you know, and that imposter syndrome, you'll always have that. And don't worry, I did loads of stupid stuff in the beginning as well. Don't worry about it, right? You'd be shocked at the stuff I used to do. Yeah. I, I know we'll make it look easy yeah. now, but believe me, I was just like you once, Savina. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. If not, way did you worse. you have stuff on as well? <laughs> headscarf no no um I think like for me it, it has been amazing but the strategy calls do take a lot of time and if you're you know if you haven't got much time or like with me I've got a few health issues at the moment so I haven't got much energy um I've decided to kind of like really push forward on the course so I've got my okay from Brian to go ahead to Biara get the webinar done so that yeah. the quality of clients that I get are then really yeah that's the thing um yeah like when you start take as many calls as you possibly can because you'll learn a lot and you'll obviously make as much money as possible but as soon as you can start to be choosy start to be fussy so that's one of the biggest hurdles to get past is just saying no I'm not doing a call like cancelling calls yeah. um and as soon as you start doing that you're like ah like you know you can start to filter through. that's why we do the application and everything like that because that's the point of that and when you get good at that you're only speaking to the right kind of people then you go back to not minding however many calls you do because most of the time you're making money and finding good people do you know what I mean so but yeah don't pile too much pressure on yourself and you know just spend all your day every day doing calls yeah you know you've proven you've validated your offer which is great mm -hmm. made some money which is great um building your confidence which is awesome and now yeah. you 
you got it on tap you can I still feel like before any strategy school I still need to watch one of um I was gonna say jam one of Sam's calls and one of Jay's calls I still need to watch them and because I still have that little nervous thing you know before you say when they say how much is your course and you say it's this much I can feel myself I have a little hesitation and it's when that hesitation is big they never buy they're not gonna buy and I think no I wouldn't have bought from me either Just practice so, in front of the mirror yeah I need to do that thousand pounds I need to do that exactly Stone cold and out loud too. It helps <laughs> you say it out loud instead of just in your mind. Yeah, but the yeah. great thing about this course is, like I, t- I told my brother yesterday, he forked out forty grand for a franchise um, before me, and uh, he's still forking out money. And I said, oh well, I've made over a tenth, you know, maybe fifteen percent of uh, of my course fees back already, oh, right. and haven't even actually done the webinar and stuff. And he was like, what? <laughs> Um, so, yeah, mom, we have a referral program, Sabina. We have a referral program. Don't forget. No, I know. I was just about to say that. Before we move uh, over to Mike, can you just quickly tell those that are not aware of what your offer is? What is your offer? What are you building? Yeah. So um, it's to help um, mums who feel like they just can't do it. They can't. They're not looking after their kids in a good way. They're not teaching them um you know the behavior of the kids is stressing the mums out and then the mums use kind of they're shouting all the time or they're nagging all the time to get their kids to listen to them so my course has two two things one is about how to change the behavior in the kids but one is also about how to calm down yourself look at your own life and find out your own you and Morena should totally coach for each other yeah I really need a bit more of that outdoor life (laughs) yeah no you'd be really good complimentary offers like you could um just because as you grow you want to have more coaches and and that kind of thing yeah that's true maybe you did like a swap seas for each other you can coach for an hour for her each week she can coach for you and you'll you'll just do so much better both of you so that's good okay yeah okay you want to have a chat with her you'll be able to swap loads of notes and everything like that so yeah nice one thank you lovely thank you for hanging out with us yeah, it's nice. I would like to say I'm surprised, but I'm I'm really not because again, I I knew it the first time we had the chat that you were going to be golden. So I'm happy that you're here with us today. Thanks. Thank you so much, both of you. Keep us posted. I'll see you around. Yes. All right, Mike. Let me see. Ask if I can unmute you. Can you hear me? Can I hear you? Hi. Hey. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. You? Good, good. I was looking back at some of your videos as well today, and I um, then remembered when you first launched, you had a little bit of a panic because it was only, what, three or five hours, something like that, before you got your first discovery call or somebody booked their first discovery call. But um, (laughs) I remember that. Um, Tell us. Uh, tell us all what your offer is and then I'd like to ask you a question too. Okay Uh, so my offer is I help people navigate a career transition sort of halfway through their career Um, but it's very a practical way of doing it rather than big ideas if you like it's a step-by-step guide so. I like that. What how did you feel? Because I know that you had had a couple of discovery calls, yeah. one that burst at the beginning. Um, how did you feel after you got off your first discovery call? And, and how do you feel now, now that you've had multiple ones? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, the, the first one, you absolutely brick it. There's no there's no way around it. You know, you, you feel really, really nervous. Um, and I think every one of them is a, such a learning curve um compared to every day is a school day and you just get better and better and and better and you almost laugh at what you said the first time but that learning curve is exponential Mm. yeah so yeah so I suppose the good thing though is it'd be lovely if every call you did turned into a client of course it doesn't but I think in the early days even if you don't get that is what I got is I got so much validation on my offer because you know you do have the imposter syndrome it's already been said you think does someone really want to want to do this is someone really going to pay for this and even the early ones who didn't go for it they said 
oh, it's really great value. I can see how well, you know, and how, you know, how it will benefit people. And I think that sort of spurs you on and it sort of gives you, it gives you the focus and the energy. And as they say, we know where, you know, um, where the focus goes, the energy flows. And I think that's helps spur you on because obviously sometimes during this whole process, there is a lot to learn and really easy to get in a state of overwhelm. But I just sort of said, take one thing at a time, push through with it. And yeah, it, we're going in the right direction. Obviously, we just adjust everything to make it better and better and better. Yep. Yeah, and feeling more confident and comfortable speaking on those discovery calls. Yeah, or yeah. you, just, you right? just get better at it. And the thing is, it's, it, it's uh, you know, um, behavior beats behavior to a certain degree because you have a you have a good one. I had a good one, and then I had, as it happens, I had one literally straight after, and I just smashed it. And she signed up straight away, and it was almost like, yeah, you know, it was a it was a sort of eureka moment. Um, so I think it's, if, if you think you're going to win, you tend to win, you know, if you go in there with a positive attitude, that that's infectious. And it's not about, I've got to stress this, it's not about being a smarmy sales guy either. It's not about that. It's about you go in there with the intention of helping people. Because that's what I do. And if you can help them, that's great. And if you can't, well, you know, that's great too. And maybe give them some guidance. But I, I do believe it's the ripple effect. You know, you help these people and these things you throw a stone in the water and the ripples sometimes are obvious and you get a client there and then, but sometimes these people will come back to you weeks, months, maybe even years later. So it's all for a reason. Yeah, I would agree. Nice one. And, and good work to continue to, to push through it too and optimize things and change things because I know that you've been working hard at that and it's paying off. So well mm -hmm. done. Well done. Um, Alex, do you have any follow-up questions for Mike? No, I just think it's great because I know you were, uh... You know, as a lot of people do, having a bit of a wobble, worry, you know, think, wondering if you're on the right path, the right track. And yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, we've got some really great examples here, but the real life of it is, yeah, we all do that, especially when you sat here in your little cabin in the garden on your own. You go, you know, are you on the right track? And I think the thing is, is, you know, you do know a lot and you do sometimes question whether you, what you know. And yeah. as soon as someone says, oh, that's actually, that's bloody good, you go, it, yeah it gives you it's that validation so if you're doing calls if you're not getting anywhere you're not getting lots of clients on if you're getting that validation you know you're on the right track and plan one's better than plan none you've just got to keep adjusting it until you you crack it until you've mastered it yeah exactly and you're always just around the corner from success Absolutely. a lot of you've heard me talk about this you can't see it when it's around the corner so you just got to keep going yep. keep on trucking um you know with you in particular you know we had good numbers we had good indicators um good leads coming through good costs all that kind of stuff so we knew we we're on the right track it's just about patience um so yeah always talk to your coach like me or greg in the program if you're not sure we can normally see quite clearly if you're going in the right direction so don't yeah. kind of preempt that or pre-guess that you know we're it's always, you know, it's very rare that you're not going on the right track. So you, you were consistent, you carried on, you pushed on through and now you start to feel the benefit. Yeah. And when you get one, you can get a hundred. So mm -hmm. you just got to keep on trucking. Nice one. Thanks, Alex. Thank you, Mike, for taking some time to hang out with us. I'm going to swiftly move through the other ones as well, because I see that we're coming out of time and those that it's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll keep going. No worries, we'll record that you guys can catch the recording. Those that need to jump off, that's fine. Mm. All right. Um, Neil, let me un ask to unmute you. Hello. Hey. And Hi, Rochelle. Hey, good to see you. And shout good out day. to your accountability team focus for sharing you yeah. with us. Thank you for that's that. Right. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah, I think they're, they're starting in a couple of minutes yeah no, it's lovely to see you come on out and share your inspiring success with us what's your offer and what's the biggest lesson you've learned um, along your journey cool okay so my offer is i'm um, a music producer have been for about 30 years i uh, started making uh rave tunes in the 90s and still making sort of house music and writing for movies and stuff like that right up to date um and my offer is to help producers 
uh, that are getting stuck and that are unproductive and just helping them to get out of that rut and, and kind of elevate their music and take it to the next level. That's um, that's kind of what, I've, what I'm offering. Nice one. Was this a mission post that you received your client? Yes, your client? yes. So I, I don't do a lot of uh, social media um, and I am one of the multiple people on the course that have their little chats behind the scenes and say, oh man, they want me to do this mission post. I'm not sure about this. What are people going to think of me? What are people, you know, people are going to say, who does he think he is putting that out there? And um, I put it off. I, um, I did my webinar. I did the whole of uh, the webinar and got that completely done and signed off by Alistair. And then I'm like, man, I can't put this off anymore. I have to do this mission post. So um, I showed it to my wife. I'm like, what do you think to this? She's like, just, just put it on there. I'm like, right, okay, boom. I pressed post. And um, about an hour later, I got my first client. <laughs> and um, yeah. yeah, and he was, um, he was totally my avatar it's like i i wrote um uh, i wrote my avatar around this this guy you know and he was on the other side of the world he's like man i'm stuck i um i need your help um he didn't quibble at all about the price he just like yeah sign me up and um i did my first uh, coaching session with him uh, on Saturday last, so I'm doing them Saturday afternoons because that suits him for when he gets up in the morning. Saturday morning, he's not working. He's got the rest of Saturday to, to act on what we've um, kind of discussed. And uh, he's yeah, he's, he's loving it, absolutely loving it. And I loved it as well. And and actually, um, we got on so well in that hour. I almost feel like I didn't give him enough in that hour, but he's he's well happy and I, I touched base with him again this morning and said look have you got anything you want to send me for a review or anything like that and um so he sent me a couple of uh, snippets of stuff he's been working on for me to critique and um yeah it's um it's awesome so and um, from that mission post i had that uh, that one client i've had um five people say they're serious uh two others of whom I've been able to get onto strategy calls. Uh, one um, who said that he, uh, he needs to ask his wife before he invested. So I'm like, yeah, okay, that's, that's <laughs> fine. He came back to me today and, and was thanks, but no thanks. And, um, but do you know what? I didn't feel um, dejected by that because I just think with stuff like this is what can I learn from this? You know, how can I maybe have done it differently? And also I'm thinking it's not me. I, I don't actually want people to invest that can't afford it anyway. I just want people to get value and I want people that, um, you know, that are, are in the position to be able to invest. And one of my other calls that I thought was a, um, a no, no, he's just come back to me, uh, literally as i've been listening to you speaking alex this guy's come back to me and sent me a little message and asking me a couple of other things about the course so and he knows the price so i think he's probably going to be um he's going to be client number two so um yeah so that's good and that's in the space of a week but i haven't got any anybody else lined up at the moment and actually i'm quite glad because i need to get on with my swick tools so that I can get my funnel out there and I can start getting some better um, better value customers, you know, people that watch the webinar and then um, actually expect it to be the ticket price it is, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where I, where I am at the moment. I did have a guy actually that I spoke to very briefly and said um, uh, who thought that it was going to be completely free. So, yeah, you'd always get that you'd always get that yeah or can can i do the course and then pay you when i get results that's my personal favorite uh okay okay yeah no i haven't i haven't had that yet but i'll uh, I'll, um, <laughs> I'll have something in the back pocket ready for when that happens the accountability there's no accountability with that so never never do that if that comes no no no, no absolutely 
No, but um, one thing I did want to say is um, before I went on that first call, I, um, I did have a panic. I, um, I reached out to Rochelle and I'm like, because I was literally thinking to myself, man, this guy's paid. Uh, I've got a session with him, an hour session. And uh, I've, yeah, I've got my office skeleton there. I know, I know my stuff inside and out. But what the hell am I going to coach him on in that first hour? And I spoke to Rochelle. She said to speak to Ali. Spoke to Ali and he said, uh, all you need to do is just ask one simple question. Just say, what value can I give you in this hour? And that's what I did. And he said, you know what? I've got a remix I'm stuck on. You could help me with that. I'm like, oh, that was it. We were away. Awesome. And um, yeah, so it was, it was easy. And do you know that is the best part is just um you feel like you're paying it forward you feel like you're using your expertise and, and you're giving somebody value you know then and he was so grateful he's paid me for my time but he's grateful for the uh for the knowledge i can give him so um which surprised me you know it did surprise me but um it shows it can be done yeah and uh like sabina you should hook up with greg um yeah greg. Because he's doing a very yes, show. okay, yeah. Well, my um, uh, my sweet buddy Matthew is also doing a uh, a guitar thing as well. So uh, he's mm-hmm. kind of teaching guitarists, and he's just going through the webinar stages at the moment. So um, yeah, man, that's there's there's a quite a few of you guys doing that sort of stuff now. We've had um, we've had like singing coaches and guitar coaches pair up to kind of add those elements to each other's program, yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah. They yeah go crazy with that it it really you know it just adds it never takes away so yeah uh, so yeah cool cool i mean what my plan going forward now is just to try and um hone my skills a little bit um in terms of these calls just so that um uh, i've recorded them all on zoom so i um i might actually um kind of share them with perhaps with ali and Mm -hmm and cringe but uh say get him to say to me look right you did that wrong you did that wrong oh, no, just so I, can, chill, I can mate. learn Ali's from it chill. you know yeah but um uh just because i'm uh, i want to get better at, at that kind of side of it but then i think once the ads are out there the webinars out there i think the the caliber of clients will be a little bit um greater anyway because it will be a much larger demographic you know yeah cool man you're well on the way validate your offer making money already if only you'd, um, you know, not sat on it. If you'd have just straight after the workshop put it out, you'd definitely be yeah. a record holder an hour. Well, yeah, that's true. That is true. But um, I probably would have had a heart attack because uh, I would have had absolutely no idea where to start. And uh, I mean, I could have reached out and asked the same questions, I know. But, exactly. but actually, um, because I was so unsure about putting the post out there, um, I think it was Ali that said, look, don't, don't sweat the small stuff. Just get your webinar done first, if you like, and that will give you a little bit more confidence. And um, and I think that's actually what I needed. That was good advice. So, um, mm-hmm. so uh, yeah, it's um, awesome stuff. Yeah. So thanks, um, thanks to all of your team as well, Alex. You you got some amazing guys there. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I'm lucky. Really lucky. Mm. Yeah, we've got. No, it's uh, it is brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> There we go. So onwards and upwards. Thank absolutely. Neil. That's the only way you can go now. I'm proud of you. Well done. Thank you. Thank um, you. Please tell your team I said hello if you need to jump. And thanks for spending some time with us. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, thanks, Rochelle. And thank you. Uh, thank you to you for that video you shot for me as well. That's so cool. That really <laughs> helped help me out. Yeah, that was brilliant. Happy to help always. You guys know where to find me if you need me. Fantastic. Thank you. Awesome. Cheers, guys. Cheers, yeah. Alex. Bye, Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Sarah Louise. Let's see. Hello. Hello. Probably it's late there for you too. Are the kiddos sleeping? Oh, We're my children. Oh, yeah. they're in next door, actually. So they're well out of the way. <laughs> Well, I appreciate you spending some time with us as well. I know that you've been running your uh, beta coaching 
course. So mm -hmm. can you tell us, first tell us what your offer is, and then I would love to know how it felt the first time somebody paid you for your coaching program, because that was an exciting day. Yep, it was definitely. So um, I'm a coach and hypnotherapist, and I help burned out women overcome exhaustion and overwhelm by helping them to heal their mind, body and spirit. So, awesome. yeah, <laughs> so I, um, I, I did my first mission post back in like June time uh, and I, I put it out there for free and I had like I've, I've had about 15 emails from people. And in the end, I took six, six people onto the course um, and I ran it over six weeks. And I mean, that was just an amazing experience because when I started, like everyone, I had no content. I ran it with all six people on a weekly Zoom call and created a Facebook group. And then week by week, I just created the content. So I think for me that that was like the biggest, you know, catapulting me forwards because by the end of it, I had a course and I'd validated what I was doing. And most importantly, I saw amazing results in the people that participated. So yeah, that, that was then. Yeah. And then um, I decided that I'd, I'm still at the kind of webinar writing script stage. So I thought while I'm sort of still planning on with that, I would launch my course again and this time charge for it. So I have three paid clients. Awesome. <laughs> the Yay. The <laughs> but what I would say is that's awesome. And um, for anyone who's listening, I know it's tempting to do it for free, but try not to. In fact, yeah. just be brave. Take people's money. Nothing wrong with that. No, and in because, hindsight, I absolutely could have done. It's definitely yeah. your own confidence that um, for sure that stops you, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Confidence is the word that will always kind of be the brakes. You know, they're yeah. always it's always a thing that will, um, yeah, be the thing that, that governs the speed you do this at. So the more confident you can be, the better. And sometimes that's going to feel weird. That's going to feel super duper uncomfortable. But just go for it anyway, because what you really want, especially when you're um, doing your first beta and everything like that, if people are paid, then you've got so much more commitment from people. They're so much more bought in. I mean, you've obviously, you know, it's not been an issue for you, but um, yeah, just wanted no, to. It did work. I mean, I totally agree. Yeah. If, you, if you can get people to pay at the beginning, brilliant. I think for me, um, I was having a bit of a heart attack over delivering a course that didn't exist anyway. And it, it kind of, ju it just gave me a bit of confidence knowing that people weren't paying for it. I felt like it just took a bit of pressure off each week. Um, but yeah, it's nice to now be able to get some paid clients. I think because I have run it once, when I'm doing discovery calls now, I, I know I have a lot of credibility. I sound like I know what I'm talking about because I do. I've done it. You know, I can give examples of results that people have, have experienced so it definitely gets easier. Like you just, you know, in one way or another, you've just got to keep putting one foot in front of the other and get something out there and deliver it. And you might not get it right, but you just try it and you see how it goes. And you're just building your knowledge. And the more people you speak to, you you eventually start to feel like an expert because you've just been talking about this stuff more and more to people. Yeah. You're learning you think you you are, learn so think much you as you go. Yeah, you learn so much as you go. You learn by teaching, I think, far more than by doing. So yeah, hundred percent. That is certainly something that builds. And then just um, yeah, Sabina dropped in the chat. Do you not think that we are like to sell more if we charge less, or does it not make any difference? So um, it doesn't make anywhere near as much difference as you might think. Um, and actually, to a point anyway, the more you charge, the easier it becomes to sell because the more expensive it is, the better people think it is. So again. I don't want to hop on it about it too much, but why I try and steer people away from the free thing is their perception of how good it is as well. Um, we're always up front about calling it a beta program. So that's all you need, right? That's the only caveat. That's the only kind of backstop. You just say, this is a brand new program. We're building it from scratch. Um, it's beta. It's going to take longer. We're going to be, you know, jumping through some hoops, um, but we will get there. And that is enough to you know have the framework um so yeah charging less to try and get more people in is never really the way to go okay never really the way to go thousand pounds 
I say is always like the starting point. Um, sometimes you might want to just take a bit less, like what like Sabina had, I haven't got a thousand pounds. Can you just take this? All right, whatever, you know, whatever. If people are willing to give you some money, first few, whatever, right? Doesn't matter too much. Um, but then as soon as you've got a few people paying a thousand, straight away, two thousand. And your confidence will go down, the brakes go on for sure, but you'll be shocked at how quickly that can come back up. But anyway, I just wanted people to learn the lessons from your journey, Sarah. So I hope you don't mind. Like, No, um, that's fine. Yeah. Just because I, I don't want people to kind of hear like doing it for free too much and then think I'm going to do it for free because we want to like. Wanna no, keep... of course. I mean, yeah. of course, yeah. ask for money. Yeah, that's definitely the, the better way to go. But yeah. yeah. But anyway, you have got paying clients now. Mm hmm. And you've, uh, I mean, you've already validated your offer twice around now, which is awesome. And you're starting to get results for your clients now. How's that feeling? Like seeing them, you know. No, amazing. Like, I mean, yes. that's definitely the best part of it. You know, when you see people come into it and they're, because of the work that I do, like pretty much completely broken. Like, you know, I've had someone who was suicidal and they come through the other side and, you know, they they literally are transformed. And um, you, you, wow. you know that, you know, that totally validates what you're doing. So, oh, yeah. And makes you thanks. feel amazing. Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. That right there is incredible. Tell you what gets me in the feels. Yep. <laughs> More than anything is what you lot go and do. Mm -hmm. yeah it's very rewarding so and I think being able to just say that to people on calls now I think what I would say to anyone who's sort of in the early stages just you know practice 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 like get yourself out there speaking to people you know get yourself out in your local community like you've just got to um, get, like gain credibility and, and then you gain confidence because you know self-doubt I think is the number one barrier to anyone on this program, right? Like it's, and everyone has it to one degree or another. And, you know, the, the, the problem is if you've got self-doubt, you'll then procrastinate and then you'll do nothing. You know, we've all got busy lives and other work and it, you'll find a million other things to do to sort of stall the program. You've got to, you know, totally believe in yourself. And if you don't believe in yourself, other people definitely are not going to when they're speaking to you. So, and if you don't, if you think that you have massive issues with self-doubt, then, you know, go and invest in yourself. Like if you're wanting people to pay you as a coach, go and pay someone else to be your coach so that you can overcome. You know, we've obviously got amazing coaches in this program as well. But in, in some way, make sure you break down those barriers, I would say, is, you know, one of my biggest pieces of advice. That is great advice. Great it advice. Is. Everyone should pay attention to that. Awesome. <laughs> Now, well done. Super proud of you. Thank like, you. So proud of what you're doing for your clients as well. So awesome to like, yeah, be able to send you off in the world to go and do some awesomeness like that. It's just what I live for. So it's awesome. Thank you. Very nice. Thanks for hanging out with us. Of course, I mimic what Alex says. Of course, I'm proud of you. I enjoyed our conversation the other day. So yeah, Thanks. it was good. Um, it was good to have you join us. Thank you for that. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. Alex, we've got some really cool, talented um, clients of ours. I say that all the time on the onboarding calls that I have with the new clients coming in. The amount of talent and diversity that we have in our community is incredible. Um, and having them all connect with each other and help each other out. And it's just, it's pretty cool to see. It really is. It's incredible. So yeah, it's super awesome. You. so inspiring so totes emotion now as well so yeah good um all right so a couple of updates if i may um through the internal uh swickies you swicksters i always want to try to come up with some cool names but then alex just tells swickies, me the, the correct uh, term is swickies <laughs> rochelle i've tried to teach you english gang i've tried and tried and tried <laughs> He does. He, he really does. He, he picks on me a lot. But a couple of updates. So, yes, the SWIC Tools tech team is up and ready uh, to assist you guys. As Alex said, no more uh, SWIC 
clinics on Friday. When you log in to your SWIC tools dashboard, you will find support at the bottom right hand side of your screen. It's gonna be an instant chat so you guys can ask questions. Um, if it's something that they cannot resolve quickly, you will roll into a, a Zoom call with them. So we're super, super proud and happy to deliver this to you guys. We have been hearing you. You guys know that when you come to me, I immediately go to Alex and Brian and I'm like, guys, We've got some challenges we need to work through and we're constantly uh, updating and making things better. So thank you again for your patience. Um, please keep me posted on the experience that you're having with the new tech team. We wanna know that. Um, next, if you are on step six or step nine, so the program flow chart, if you are on step six or step nine, please make sure that you are watching those deep dives for the webinar. They've been added in your um, Build Trust Online module. So step six and nine, please make sure you're watching the deep dives. And then the third thing that I wanted to say is we heard a lot of incredible stories about the mission post, which is such a good problem to have when our clients are coming to us and saying, I don't know if I'm ready yet. And we say, do it anyway. So for those that are about to launch and or you're gaining traction from your mission post, I want to point out to you guys, please go watch Sam's uh, new training. It is in your client acquisition module. It's the enrollment conversation. You want to watch that if you're feeling on edge a little bit and, and, and want to know kind of what you're getting yourself into. And exactly what Sabina said earlier, she's been jumping on Sam's calls on Mondays and Thursdays just to listen to see how this could go. And that has helped her tremendously as well. So I just wanted to point out those couple of resources. I love it when you guys come to me asking what you should be doing or where you should be going for resources. So these were some of the common things I was getting lately that I wanted to share with everybody. That's all I had, Alex. Awesome. That's a wrap then. So yeah, thanks everybody. Thanks for being a part of our community. Thanks for hanging out with us today. And um, yeah, exciting times ahead. Um, keep moving forward, keep taking action. It's all to play for. Um, hopefully you've been inspired by the amazing stories today. I know I have. Um, so yeah, next time it could be you. Just like perhaps you're um, feeling how Sabina was feeling on the last show, seeing people have success, wondering if that's even remotely possible for you. It is possible and you will be on the next show. So if you do get your first clients, make sure you let Rochelle know, let us know, make sure you brag about it in the communities and, uh, and then we'll wheel you out um, so you can tell your story too. I love it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. It was so good to see everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday. Maybe some of you guys are in Thursday and we'll see you next time. Bye. Take care. Bye now.